<clears throat> Welcome to the part two of the tutorial latest. So, if you remember last episode, if you do not, please click on the little eye, which I will, which will pop up shortly. Gotta remember that there. If I don't remember, so sue me. But we worked on that on lots of mountains, and we designed the base for the map. As you can tell, it's kind of pretty. It's very nice. You can kind of tell, kind of has an. It's kind of akin to the Europe. Asia, well, Europe, Asia, a Africa, Freedom Time, America Land. Uh, Alright. Set up. So, we're gonna need. Today, we're. Today, the episode is about editing and the world and the temperature. And, at the very end, we'll work on, the t on this. Okay, so. When. Sadly, with World Box, you cannot. Change the biome by increasing the temperature. You can change the biome by decreasing it. So we're gonna set the line. We're gonna color up. Okay, so look. This is what we have when we have this. Okay, just gonna. Have. So we're gonna go. We're gonna make this area all ice. I'm gonna draw a line. So this is. It's kind of slow though, sadly. Whenever you're editing like this, see. Look at this. So slow. Oh my god. Look, it's so slow. Ah, ten minutes later, like ten hours later, still holding down on the same spot. We need to make this so it like turns out ice immediately, because there's no middle point. There's just ice and then not ice. So there we go. There we are. So that's what a little bit of it looks like. So we're gonna slide across. So this entire chunk of it over here will be covered nice as well. You can use the mess up tool to uh, mess up the ice so it looks more awesome more natural. Look at that. We'll also be creating a north and south pole, which will be livable, but not very livable. We'll add cold ones. If you don't want people traveling across much, if you want to decrease the e uh, like availability of colonization, you can place piranhas, but we're not gonna really do that, so let's just draw our line and yeah, so America won't have much ice. So just do this this also works if you, I don't it's not as efficient, but it's it works. It works if but you can also do like this. Look at that. America won't have as much ice, but it will still have plenty of it. We'll add some stuff for us, actually, because, I mean, why not? We need some tundra. So it's added. <laughs> you all know I love mountains. There we go. There we go. There's just a little forest for the ice to live. For, for the, uh, for the people we put up here to, uh, survive on. Uh, I don't know really remember. I don't know how to do map sharing. I know it's on the Discord, but, for this game, but, I mean... Yeah, so look at how pretty this map is getting. And it's kind of interesting because you can make it look really, really realistic at the same time uh, uh, and not make it look realistic. I also will show you how to make a war maps, like to see you know, like like battle royale maps on this game. They're possible. They're very fun to, like, you can also make it so that you can, um, do, uh, test maps that will, will fight to the death. Look at that. And boom! We got ice, my man. My troop. I loyal viewers. Well, not loyal, because, but well, loyal, yeah. Your guys are awesome. Yeah. And that is all the ice for this territory. Look up. Look how cold it is. It's very cold. So, that's what you can do. You can also just, like, on the bottom, you can just... You can even make it so that it's just little biome spikes. Like that. There you go. Look, that's like a little biome of ice. It doesn't you don't have to make all of the land ice. There we go. Perfect. Now we're gonna just create a little I'll draw one of these. You wanna make it almost pretty much all sand at the bottom. You're gonna want just just put town okay. This is how you, I'll show you how to make a, a good looking an Arctica, like so. Plops of trees everywhere, like that, and then you're going to want to freeze it. Freeze it so hard. Come on, click. 
You can also use this cut one. Because this will allow trees to grow on the ice lands. And this will allow people to, like, live there, I guess. And it's actually kind of cool to have a um, living area. A living place for, uh... Like, and see people try to colonize the ice lands. To make it more inhospitable, you can add, like, I, like... I'm trying to think of what ways you can make a place more inhospitable without animals. Because animals do die eventually. So, I mean, you could put wolves, but then you'd have to put prey. I'm trying to think of the best way to make it more inhospitable. Like, the ice is pretty much it. That's pretty much enough. We won't make a second one, because don't, we don't need to. Look at that. That is an ice land. We'll just make this tip of Afrock, Afrock here. Or, this is Asia now. This is the Asia. Just to mess with them, with mess with your mind. Look at that. So that like adds some detail. That's how you make a mountain. So as you can tell, the map is kind of coming together. You might think we're done with like the terrain. No, 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 no. You make the major continents first. That is your first job, and you edit and design those. Now we also want to add like little islands. So perf, what you do with islands? Okay, that was an accident. Use this to erase. Okay, for islands, you're gonna want to get dirt soil. That's a tiny island, and you just tiny islands everywhere. All right, it's tiny. I oh my gosh. Well, I guess we're just having a new continent there. Boom. That, that was a lot of lag. We'll also do rivers in this episode. No, we'll do rivers in the next episode because those are fun. Okay, there. Look, this is the um like. Um, I guess this is, uh, Indonesia and stuff like that, I guess? And then that's their major continent, this, this that stabbing island. Island Stabby. That's what that one's called, Stabby Island. And then you want tiny plops, plots of, like, forest in the bigger ones, but not too big. There you go. See, that's perfect right there. That's perfect. Um, then you can, like, just add... Keep little islands like that. Look at that. Keep, then you can add like that one. That. There you go. Then you're going to get your this. And I'll show I'm going to this. Boom. Boom. There you go. And that makes it perfect. Okay. There's that. So oh, there's one. Let me just draw that out for you guys. Look at that. Look how pretty it is. Uh -huh. Like, I mean, I guess you could use a shovel tool while you make this one, while you use on this, ver like, while you're doing uh, islands. Because that could make, that would make sense. I, but I, I always just prefer straight up, simply just doing, like this. This is simple. Whenever it hap that happens, you want to just extend the island a bit. That. There you go, and then you can just look in this boom forest. There you go, now we're gonna. There you go, perfect. I know it looks like I'm just chopping out the entire island, but that's. You can avoid that if you want, but it's, it also creates more realistic islands. Perfect. We, we, we have one more. This is the island that we wanted. Okay, so. Whenever you put life on your newly made, really amazing map, Right? Once you've made your life on your new amazing map, because you are all awesome that build maps, if you make really pretty maps, you're all awesome. You're amazing. Alright? You're amazing. Alright? Don't listen to what anyone else says, except if it's your parents or an authority figure. Just don't listen to jerks. Okay? Don't listen to jerks. Look at that. All natural. Right? It's all natural. Dog in my bed. Uh, I don't know. But okay, so that that's how you make little things. Now for creating life. So on mountain ranges you're gonna wanna use this brush, okay? And actually hold down a little bit, okay? And move slower. So that allows you to get more resources in the mountain. Making people wanna live in the mountain ranges. Just don't need too much of a concentration of certain resources. So that's that's what. That's how you um, make mountains. I'll do the mount. I won't do all the mountains on screen. I'll just design this one. Okay, there you go. That 
is how you get mountain civilizations. Those, but what about all the other civilizations that live in the deserts and the big other land? See, now it might seem counterintuitive, but like, or you can just do this. You can just get your mouth and then it just like go really fast, and it will leave tiny amounts of rock. Just like click in certain spots, and like that will give them tiny amounts of stone. Like that. But don't give them iron and stuff because that would be give them because that will give them an advantage over the mountain people. Because the mountain people would have to have less room to stay. And but in deserts, 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 deserts. Give them as much material as you want. Because they have a very big disadvantage. Okay, look at that. Now let's just cut in there. Okay, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, look at how pretty that is. The lag hurts me physically. There you go, look at that. That is how you make your islands better. Oh, I'm gonna go on and do all that stuff. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I just finished all the, like, the mountain ranges and stuff. As you can see, the pockets of resources- Let me get more there. there. You can see there are more po resource pockets near the mountains. If you want more, like, realistic stuff, whenever you're having rivers, right, you can put more, like, really good resources by rivers so people will settle there, because that makes more sense, right? Doesn't having, like, rivers be more- state better for civilization? Yeah, that's more sense. Alright? So, now that you've finished this part, you're going to want to start making rivers. But we're not doing that yet. But as, So as you can tell, this map is starting to look quite realistic. We got this map. So yeah, that's pretty much how you make them. You know, I, you know it hasn't been that long? Let's make rivers. Let's make, dang it, let's do it, we're doing rivers. Alright, so, major rule of rivers. When you have them connecting, you want them all connecting to the oceans or connecting into mountains. Because mountains... They have springs and waterfalls, and that makes it look good. So, this is how you make an entrance to the river. See, you're going to want to, like, this is the river. That is the app. That is the um, entrance to the river. You're going to want to draw the rest of the river. So, we're going to make this river car. We're going to make it go like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. like so, this river will, uh... Now, also, in uh, the next episode, we're going to... I'm going to teach you how to make civilizations happen. Alright? Like how civilizations can be, how you, uh, your civilization pretty well. Let's, now that's all connected up. Okay. Okay, now let's show you how to make an atoll. Like a little entrance. So, what you want to do is you just want to make a line. A line like that, a line like this, a line like that. You want to make it, and if you want to, you should, you, you can use, uh, the smallest one. Ironically, it's the, it's the one that I said was, their, their types are normally bigger. And that will give it a little bit more of a realistic vibe. Because, like, look at that. That looks more realistic because there's sand everywhere now. That's pretty darn realistic. Look at that. It's very pretty. 
I'll show you. I'll show you how to make rip mountains too. So then we're gonna triangle over here. We're just gonna scribble on all over this place, but make sure that there's they almost all connect to each other. So boom, boom. Look at that. Look. Oh, there we go. That's another video I'm gonna upload today. Well, not today, but like. So, but that's in how you make an asshole. Okay, now we're going to design a lake. A lake, you're going to want to start with shallow waters and set it to this size. So we're going to make a lake. We're going to cut the... So it's going to cut out there. The lake will be pretty big, right? Lakes are probably... Like, they're no use to lakes because... Like, look, I can put a little island there and that makes it look really nice. And that island, I'll put some trees on. Maybe we'll put some more soil, like that. And that will be a cute little island for people to live on. And then you get... Oh, wait, not not people yet. Then you want to go to... Not deep ocean, not deep ocean. You're going to want close ocean. There. That will make your lakes look really nice. Let me just... That. that is how you make lakes. How pretty that lake is. And you can even... uh To make it even better, you can make it... Re oh, let me just fix that. Mm -hmm. You can make it connect right back up to this. Or even sprout its own river. Look, like that. You don't need to make an addle, like a little entrada. Because it's already, because it's in, it's not an ocean. Look at that, look how pretty that is. Okay, so look, see how that river's kind of bulging? We can just like cut it out, cut that out there, and we can even cut put a little lake in there. Look at that, look how pretty it is. And then you're going to want, uh, like, if to make it look realistic, look, you can even cut it. We're gonna cut this ocean in half. Like that, and then we're gonna pull that. We're gonna make this one cut right back into the main river. And bam, it's gonna pass right beside the mountain range. Oh, see, that's why. And then you're gonna want to make it cut through, like so, and pop out on the other side. Look how nice this is gonna look. Cut right over the filthy, disgusting desert. Oh, I hate deserts. And boom, you're right there, right in the map. You're just gonna cut it through and just make your addles. Addles. Look at that, look. Look at that river system. Look at this. And it, oh, and also for a little bit of extra detail, try to make them as windy as possible. I'm not good with making swamps, though. As you can tell in the Great Saga, that's not a good swamp. Look at that. To make it so that these people don't die off, that will colonize there, you can just give. A stone in the middle. All the little islands, you're going to want to give them a little stone. There you go. Look how nice this is getting. Look at that, Look at that detail. Okay, now we're going to continue working. So, I, I can just see. Can you see a river here? Yes, you should. If you're getting used to the, my designs, this. Crap. I don't know what just happened. Oh, God. Okay, it survived. My computer didn't explode. I'm, I'm worried my computer's going to explode sometime. I won't be able to sell it. There you go. There. Look at that. Look. Oh, woohoo. Look at that. And we can cut it out and make it look pretty nice. I think the am so we're gonna make an Amazon. So we're the Amazon, so it's gonna be a thicker river. It's gonna be like that. Look at that. That's a pretty big river. Put a lake in there, so we're gonna actually close ocean. Oh no, I'm at the close ocean. Dirty hurt. Be so sleepy. Oh, look at that close ocean. Look how pretty that is. Just pop that in. The shallow waters. We're going to make this a pretty darn big river. Okay, there we go. Now, I think we can make it so that civilization up there. That land. So look, see how like weird that is? I'm going to actually connect this one up. A second stream of the Amazon. I love Amazon. Like, not the actual one. Like, I like it. It's pretty. Look at that. And it's right up in the mountain range. Perfect. Now we're going to cut this over here. Make that. Now, that's the Amazon. See how very large it is. You can just do cute little tributaries that really actually don't connect to anything. But, like, like that. There you go. Look how pretty that is. Just nice. And boom, boom, boom. There we are. Make cute little tributaries that cut them off, cut off from the main ocean, and just slash cut into the 
main ocean. Boom! Look how nice that river is. Look at that. Look at the prettiness. Look how pretty that is. Look at that prettiness. I'm sorry about that noise. Sorry. But look how pretty that is. There's just some cute rivers. We'll just cut get that even in there. Look at that. Look at that. We'll even add, oh, we'll add a little forest right in there. Look at that. Look how, and then we'll give them a little bit of stone. Okay, that wasn't it. So it kind of looks good. We'll give them a teensy tiny bit of stone to survive there. They'll even can have a, since they're going to build really nice, look how beautiful this place is. Now, like, what cotton looks better? This cotton looks better because of its nice river basin. So, right over here, I don't, this one will be a ocean like this. Like this. I'm going to gonna make this cut right through this forest, okay? Right through it. We're going to make it cut right through the mountain range, too. Okay? Oh, hint, I can tell you how to make bridges happen. You want to know? Of course you do. If you watch, if you want to, you will. This is the bonus of staying this long in my video. You can actually, if you hold ice on a, in a village, they, they will actually count the ice as land. Oh my god. Okay, they'll count the ice as land, and they can build roads on the ice. And then you can remove the ice, and boom, guess what you got? You got a bridge! Isn't that awesome? I know, I know, it's insane. It's probably one of my favorite little glitches, but I love it. Look at this addle. Look at that. That's not one of my best addles. That's why you want to be very careful with it. There you go. Perfect. Actually, we can pop in some more dirt like that. There we go. I will add some uh, tributaries that come off into a big lake. That will be a lake, okay? That will be a big lake. I'll be right back. And so that's the lake. Sorry, my door freaking. Oh my. So that's our big lake. That'll be our lake, and we'll just chop out all that land. That land must burn. We we'll even connect it back up into the main system. This actually physically happens in real rivers. Like there might, like of this might be easier at one point, and they cut through there. But eventually, what happens is, is that uh, they start punching through there, and they make uh, another river. So we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut another river like that. We're gonna cut it up into there, and we're gonna cut it right into the heart of that land. And we're gonna make another one. The tributary is gonna chop right into there. We're gonna cut that off. That off. Boom! Look at that river. Look at that. We're gonna make it like the Nile here, the river of the, the Nile, right? I'm gonna make a denial here, so no one, everyone denies its existence, but it exists. That river, so we're gonna connect this river, and we're gonna slash it down, and then boom. Look at that river! I'll connect, actually add another tributary that'll cut off that way. Look how, look how pretty this is coming out. We're even going to make an extra river that will connect, like, bounce into there, right? Like that. That will actually fly up and connect into this. Okay, now we're actually going to add a little bit more, some more rivers that will just pop in there. And Look at this river! Look at the river! Look how fancy this is! I, I find making rivers mesmerizing. I'm not editing this out. No way. No how. Bip bop kazow. Watch Gravity Falls, you will understand that joke, and, I, and you also gain respect. Watch, cut out. Let's make that actually a very large addle. Look at that. Perfect. Look at how pretty that is! There's no river there, but we can fix that. We can even just make a lake. Make a massive lake, and that will just be... Look, okay, we're going to make a massive lake, right? Massive lake. We can make that there. But we're actually, what we're going to do is we're going to make this lake. They 
basically an inland ocean. And there will be a society in that island that will actually boost quite a bit by giving them. Hold up! What? I gotta see this. Darn! I was hoping I could do that! That would have been beautiful! There we go. So look, there's some stone for them. They'll even get I'll give them iron too. And I'll make it so that there's like a small little like dots. Cause look, they um whenever um they are building island, you can actually set it up in such a way where it's just in their borders and they'll expand. So look at that. They'll actually expand in there. Looks like a submarine. Oh, kinda looks like a laser gun from Star Wars. These it actually still looks like a submarine with legs. That's what this is. It's a submarine with legs. That's funny. Look at that. Look at the prettiness. And that river, and we'll actually, um, I gotta mix up it to this size because it's a. Now we'll actually make a river connecting out to the ocean, and we'll make it. You can do this, and I'll just add the tiniest amount of detail, and it people probably won't even notice it. But it would, it. But if they do, they'll know it just looks that much better. Look, look at this. I'll just, I can. You, what I'm gonna do is, you can use the mess up tool on that as well. Now I'll also make it look just so much better. Perfect. Now we're gonna use the mess up tool on the edges of this. I'm gonna set it to the second smallest. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Um, I guess we're gonna have to use this side. There we go. That'll just make the rivers just better. Make the lake just that much better. And wow, I mean, this looks pretty nice. I mean, the mess up tool there. And more there. So, I mean, I mean, like, it looks pretty nice. It does. I mean, it does. Look. So we got a Pokemon. Look, it's, there's a Ted and there's the arm. It's like a Pokemon looking backwards and it's like, Meh! I don't know what this is. You know, anything can be a Pokemon nowadays. I mean, it really can. But look! Look at this beautiful so, well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this new tutorial. Tomorrow, we're going to build some symbols. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to put the water in and be done.